Thanks, Lawrence. A uh, black-led nonprofit funded by the city of San Francisco continues to receive death threats just days after racist graffiti was found here on its building. Crowd Force Leslie Gooden has been talking with the nonprofit's founder, who says his focus remains on the kids. In its 24 years of operation, Youth First has never faced challenges as severe as those it faces now. According to its founder, Renard Monroe, he says this all feels like harassment. And now I've been receiving, um, I've received a call um, that was very unfortunate. That was pretty much a death threat telling me to be quiet and shut up uh, and using racist words as well. So I just feel people are taking advantage of a situation uh, to bring hate, but we're going to continue to bring love. This comes after having an encounter with a woman who used a racial slur against him. Next, that same slur was spray painted outside of the youth first building. A few days later, an anonymous tip went into the state of California social services about the Youth First program operating um, a daycare, child care without licensing. We're an after school and summer program funded by the city and county of San Francisco. We follow all the rules and we're not a child care or a daycare. In the complaint investigation report, it says the state spoke with a city official who confirmed that the program is funded under San Francisco's Department of Children, Youth and their families. The state then asked for proof of that documentation. But everything that they asked me um, to provide, I provided, and then I provided also an email to the state of California with all the information. I contacted, contacted our funder, DCYF, and they sent over the information that was needed as well. So we've just been trying to follow the processes that they, they requested, and we're just waiting to hear back from them now. On Tuesday, we spoke with the Department of Social Services, who tell us they have received all the information needed to complete this investigation, but it still needs to go through all the necessary channels and a standard follow-up visit. So for now, the investigation remains pending. Do you think that all these issues you've been having are connected? As the park rangers roll past, I definitely think all of these things are connected, unfortunately, um, because we haven't been receiving plaints this whole time of existence. Then after one interaction with an individual, now all of these things are happening. Leslie Gooden, Crom for News.